Hi guys, today we're going to be working on this quick St. Patrick's Day water marble. And I say quick mainly because instead of using 10 cups like my design last year, this is only going to take 4 cups because I'm just using the clover as an accent on my middle and thumbnails rather than doing a clover on every nail. So that saves a lot of time and then you just get kind of an abstract design on the rest of your nails. So the colors that I'm using today, this green is Claire's Kelly Green and the white is China Glaze White on White which is something I just picked out when I realized I didn't have a white from Claire's to pair with the green. Um, I've used white on white before water marbling and luckily it worked well with this color also. So I'm just going to add a couple more drops of each color and then I'm going to go in and draw my clover. And that's basically just four lines, one from each side to the center. And you want to just use a very, very delicate touch, as always. And for this one in particular, you want to try and keep them as evenly spaced as possible so that the leaves of your clover are also even. So as so I draw this final line in here, I'm going to dip down in the center. And I'm going to continue dipping down and kind of shrinking that clover. Sometimes you may end up with a little bit of a bald patch, but you should be able to gradually shrink that. Um, if your polish is still wet enough, if your polish starts to dry, this is not going to work. Just kind of keep dipping until it's even and you're happy with it. Um, for this dip, I'm going to be doing my middle ring and index finger all together. So I'm just going to turn this cup a little bit. Despite my best intentions, it is a little bit lopsided. So that I get the side that I want toward the tip of my nail. Then I'm just going to line my fingers up as evenly as I can lining up my middle nail with the clover and the other two with kind of the lines coming from either side and then just dip into the water. Then go ahead and reach in with the orange stick to start cleaning up the excess polish. And once the surface is clear, I'm going to go ahead and pull my nail slowly out and there's the water marble design. So you can see that the center clover didn't turn out completely white and that's partly due to me shrinking it and the polish kind of pulls and blends together a little bit. In this case that's what I wanted it to do. And really this is a very very easy design. The trickiest were actually my pinky nails. Um, on my right pinky, I actually didn't get much of a design, and on my left pinky, I actually smudged it and had to do some polish surgery. So maybe next time I do something like that, I'll record a quick video if you guys are interested. Um, you know, leave me a comment, let me know what you think about that, because sometimes you just need to go in there and touch up the marble just a little bit. But also let me know what you think of just using the clover as an accent. If you want to see some more St. Patrick's Day nail art, I'll link that playlist. Also the Water Marble March playlist and all my normal playlists. So uh, plenty more Water Marbles to come this month. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. And as always, thanks for watching.